Welcome to KLA News. I am Aaron Nieves, and today I will be talking about this week and our features. Well, now that one week of modified schedule is over, we have one more week of a modified schedule. Also, there's one more week till break, and then we'll all have three weeks off of school. Later, Rosalia and Rania and are talking about ASB. Then I'll be back talking about cool stuff to do over winter break. And last, we have a, few, a new feature called Shout Outs, which is when teachers give shout outs to students. Hello, my name is Rania. And I'm Rosalia. Today we will be interviewing students who are in ASB. We think it is important to recognize ASB students because of the hard work of setting up activities and fun events for secondary. ASB is also a big part of the school. This is our ASB story. Thank you for watching and thank you to Mr. Kabalikin, David, Pamela, and Macy for sharing their experiences on campus. So Pamela, what is the coolest thing you've done in ASB? The coolest thing I've done in ASB is put together the school dances because I like seeing all of the ASB members working together. Also, my favorite dance to put together was the Halloween dance. This is Macy Batista and she's one of our newest members in ASB. So tell me, Macy, what is one thing that you're looking forward to doing in ASB this year? One thing I'm looking forward to doing in ASB this year is, ho is helping out with uh, the committees for the dance this year. The second question we have for you, Macy, is what did you think of ASB before you joined? Uh, what, I, what I thought of ASB before I joined was of making new friends because I really need friends. Oh, hello, Kayla leaders. I'm Mary Nevis, and today we'll be talking about fun things you can do over Christmas break. Now that Thanksgiving break is over, we have two more weeks till Christmas break. During Christmas break, Christmas and New Year's will happen. If you have nothing to do over the break, then listen to this. One thing you could do is watch movies with family and drink hot chocolate. A, sec a second thing you could do is go to your aunt's or cousin's house and do fun things. A third thing you could do is make gingerbread houses or eat gingerbreads. A fourth thing you could do is decorate your house and your tree. And the fifth thing you could do is go to the, you could go to the snow and have a snowball fight and build snowmen. I am Erin Nieves on Kaylee and Moose. Have a nice day. Hello, Kaylee. I'm Ariana. And I'm Anaya. And today we started a new segment on teachers giving students shout outs. We went out and asked your teachers if they had any student that they wanted to shout out. Miss Miranda would like to shout out Daniel Estrada, Jeffrey Jones, and Diego Velasco for putting up the chairs in her room without being asked to. Mr. Humanis would like to shout out these students, Treasure Evans for always having the courage to be herself, to be loyal to her friends, and staying positive. Amelia Williams for always having a positive attitude and, make, and making people feel good when they're around him. And he works hard at all, at all times trying to be the best person he can possibly be. Um, and lastly, Ali Gonzalez for always keeping it real, staying drama free, and having the courage to be herself. Mr. Armstrong would like to shout out the following students. Rania for always showing perseverance, Nalani for including others in reach, Aloha for participating with a smile every day, and Jacob for working hard and helping others. And Ariana for always going above teacher expectations and taking initiative with classwork. Teachers, don't forget to get these shout outs in. We will put more in your mailbox and return, to return them, leave them in Ms. Belmain's mailbox or you can contact us at these emails. Hi, I'm Brian, and I'm here to tell you what to do to prepare for next week. Remember, at January 25th, our September 1 grading period closes. I would recommend that you finish all of your missing work and do your homework. Even do it on break and get it ready for your teachers. We will use the same modified schedule for next week. Eighth graders will also go on a field trip called Service Learning Day. And remember that December's theme is reflecting on the past. What reflecting on the past means to me is that you should always cherish the good moments and always remember to forgive yourself and the others who you may have done wrong by you or others. 